Hi everyone, we are from group 1 and today, we will discuss about InsureTech. Do you guys realize? World in 21st centuries grows very fast. Many sectors collaborate with technology, for example food and beverages online delivery, and also digital banking. So, what is InsureTech? InsureTech is a blend of words insurance and technology, inspired by the term fintech or finance technology. It applies to a wide category of state-of-the-art technologies that are disrupting the insurance space, including smartphone apps, wearables, claim acceleration tools, online policy handling, and others. Any technology that is used by an insurance company to increase the efficiency of its operations could be considered as insure tech. Moreover, any digital tool designed to optimize the processes of insurance firms or boost customer experience can be viewed as an insure tech. InsureTech arrived late to the game, owing mostly to government regulation and the historical switching costs that insurance carriers have had to endure in order to stay current with technology. The ever-expanding size of the insurable market provided additional incentive for entrepreneurs to begin producing innovative health insurance solutions. Other industries began to follow suit, including property and casualty, auto, home and commercial, and life and annuity. InsureTech has grown to become a $5.5 billion sub-industry with the ability to either disrupt or empower insurance incumbents. The global market will continue to grow, according to current statistics and estimates. It is predicted to reach $10.14 billion by 2025. The major driving element is a growth in demand for digitization and business operations, particularly claim processing simplicity and automation capabilities. Furthermore, the ongoing development of new payment processing technology has simplified transactions, leading to market growth. In addition, insurance tech companies' innovations and one-of-a-kind solutions to remodel the value chain are drawing money from legacy firms and investors throughout the world. All right, I think we've learned enough about the history of insure tech. For our next topic, let's take a look at the key technology innovations leveraged by insure tech providers, shall we? Nowadays, game-changing insurance technology software solutions are focused around daily living needs. Therefore, it's making consumer interactions more frequent and quality. Now, let's take a look at a few of the insurance technology trends that are already reshaping the industry. The first ones are the top trends in fintech mobile app development, which is artificial intelligence and machine learning. The next one is Internet of Things devices, including wearables, allow providers to monitor clients' driving habits, health concerns, household problems, and others. For life, home, and car insurance technology firms that means more precise risk assessment, better loss control, and more effective pricing management. The third one is robotic process automation. And then we have blockchain technology. In insurance, this is mainly utilized to enhance data security. The next one is advanced analytics, which is one of the key differentiators for the insure tech sector. The last one are drones. Drones are mainly used by home insurance companies to examine real property assets situated in higher risk areas, such as natural disasters areas, lethal regions, and more. Today, long-term success depends on business model innovation. There are four dimensions of a business model. Who are your target customers? What do you offer to the customers? Why does it work? How is the value proposition created? For example, ABC, a global leader in embedded insurance, targets Generation Y by offering on-demand insurance. Customers are built based on duration of use through mobile apps, so it's flexible and it's easy to use. Here, we show you the examples of key dimensions of some identified business model patterns. You can pause the video if you wish to. Now, let's move on to the insure text business model. Today, insure tech software companies can be found in all lines of business, and around two-thirds concentrate their efforts on the improvement of specific components of the value chain. The entire insure tech ecosystem already consists of hundreds of market participants that can be categorized into five models. 1. Direct insurers or tied agents offer personalized, flexible, and cost-efficient packages with typically lower coverage and premiums. Such insure tech firms adopt technology innovations like IoT or data science, and their products can be easily purchased via a website or mobile app. In this category, you can find Bima, Metrimile, Drop, Root, Kuva, and Neos. 2. 
insurance management or digital insurers. Underwrite policies and manage the process from beginning to end. These insure tech solutions focus on convenient tracking and administration of all your insurance policies and contracts in one place. Process improvement insure tech products are Finance Fox, Brawley, Nip, Rentablo, and Get Safe. 3. Marketplaces or aggregators or comparison portals are online platforms with numerous insurance products and companies that allow users to compare prices and terms. Examples include Policy Bazaar, Coverhound, Insurify, Policy Genius, Cover Fox, and Check 24. 4. Peer to peer or cashback is an emerging operating model to access insurance coverage at lower costs than most of the traditional providers. These insure tech solutions allow individuals to team up and club their premiums together to hedge against risk and commonly derive benefits regarding premium proceeds. Some examples are Friendsurance, Guevara, Lemonade, Uvamo, and Inspear. 5. Sales, Marketing, and Engagement Category comprises technology insurance companies that offer focused tools to industry-related third parties, including but not limited to brokers and insurers, mainly in the form of API or SaaS business model. These process modifiers utilize technologies to improve certain parts of the value chain, leading to better user experiences and more fair pricing. Here you can meet such big names as Zywave, Welltalk, Casco, Covi Analytics, Zipari, Gover, Dynamis, LiveDrip, and Sereify. Today's Insurtex combine technology with innovative business models. Here, we show you the real world examples of the combination. You can pause the video if you wish to. Let's discuss one of the innovations of the Insurtex revolution called parametric insurance. What is parametric insurance? Parametric insurance products pay the policyholder when a triggering event occurs. Here is one definition used by the World Bank. Parametric insurance pays out benefits based on a predetermined index for the loss of assets and investments because of weather or other catastrophe events. In contrast, traditional insurance relies on assessments of actual damages. Metric solution always consists of the following. 1. A triggering event. The insurance cover is triggered if predefined event parameters are met or exceeded, measured by an objective parameter or index that is related to an insured's particular exposure. In practice, this event could be an earthquake, tropical cyclone, or flood where the parameter or index is the magnitude, wind speed or precipitation respectively. The key criteria for an insurable trigger is that it is fortuitous, and it can be modeled. 2. A payout mechanism. A pre-agreed payout if the parameter or index threshold is reached or exceeded, regardless of actual physical loss sustained. For example, 10 million US dollars if a magnitude 7.0 earthquake occurs in a defined geographical area or 50,000 US dollars for every millimeter of cumulative rainfall above a certain threshold. 3. A parameter or index. A suitable parameter or index is any objective measure that is correlated to a specific risk and ultimately to a financial loss for the insured. This is a measurable index related to a scenario. For example, rainfall related to delaying a construction project or earthquake related to damage to a corporation's physical assets. Any parameter or index that is used as the basis for a parametric solution must be objective, that is independently verifiable, transparent, and consistent. Generally we are looking for indices that are easily measurable, and reported quickly and effectively to ensure prompt payout. Parametric insurance solutions are not designed to replace but to complement traditional insurance programs. They can fill the protection gaps left by indemnity insurance. So what are their differences? There are some key differences between traditional indemnity and parametric insurance. Traditional indemnity insurance payment triggered are the actual loss of or damage to a physical asset. Parametric insurance payment triggered are the event occurrence exceeding parametric threshold. Traditional indemnity insurance reimburse the actual loss sustained. Meanwhile parametric insurance pre-agreed the payment structure based on event parameter or index value. The basis risk of traditional indemnity insurance is policy conditions, deductibles and exclusions, while the basis risk of parametric insurance is correlation of chosen index the payout and the loss sustained. Traditional indemnity insurance have a complex and based on loss adjuster assessment claim process loss assessment, where parametric insurance have a transparent, predictable, based on a parameter or index, and quick settlement claim. The term for traditional indemnity insurance is usually annual, meanwhile parametric insurance term are between single and multi-year. The structure for traditional indemnity insurance is standard products and contract wordings with some customization, while the structure for parametric insurance is customized product with high structuring flexibility. Moving on to the pros and cons you ought to know about InsureTech. Talking about the pros of InsureTech, we have. The first one is customization. 
Customizable insurance policies are highly attractive to know what they need, for how long exactly and expect appropriate solutions to be available. The second one, is peer-to-peer -peer insurance. Peer-to-peer -peer use blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies, to reduce transaction costs and for secure digital wallet management. The third one is, limits the scope of disagreement. To decrease the scope of disagreement, insert texts are often flexible and can immediate automatic enforcements of contracts. This feature is promising, because users get greater satisfaction due to transparent policy handling. The last one is transparency, where they have to take responsible actions, to ensure the data is handled transparently. On the other hand, we also have the cons of insure tech, which is, privacy challenges, because, many users are concerned about how their personal data is being collected, to what extent and for what purpose it is being used, and if it is sold for financial gain only, then there is different regulation where insurtechs push boundaries in the sector, and raise questions about how the insurance industry, will deal with their regulation, even though technology are used, challenges will remain, until algorithmic underwriting is regulated. The last one is financial uncertainty where insurtechs, are a relatively new fintech creation, so it is rather uncertain how financial hardships will be handled, whether or not it would be acceptable, to receive government funds to stay afloat. Meanwhile, there will be a question across our minds, how's insurtech gonna, be going in the future? It's inspiring to witness how InsureTech is reshaping the insurance industry, and innovative customer-centered projects are taking on the market. Talking about the future of InsureTech, there might be also challenges along the journey. Let's see, the regulatory issue is one of the top priorities, since policies should keep pace with fast-changing customer expectations, technology innovations, and market conditions. Regulations should promote collaboration, security, and sustainability, to help startups mitigate risks, associated with pioneer work. Meanwhile, looking to win over a sophisticated audience, insure tech disruptors need to realize, the core idea of product should be reflected in all the aspects of insure tech, from design and technology selection to marketing, and ongoing enhancement. From one of the study that was conducted, it is said that, the insurance sector is among those most prone to future disruption. Providers, who ignore digitalization, or are slow to respond to digitally native competitors, could be left far behind, losing market share, and perhaps losing the opportunities to follow new growth activities. The digital insurer of the future, will be super aware of consumer habits and demands, propose highly personalized products and services when the user needs it. Data-enabled operations will minimize friction, and streamline the whole customer journey, starting from requests for insurance coverage to claim. Artificial intelligence will be used to interact, and build an understanding of the customer, and servicing will be through digital personal assistance, 24-7. The insurance sector has not yet worked out a consistent approach to disruption. Now is the time for executives to think forward, put innovation at the heart of their strategies, and define to what extent they want to participate in the insure tech ecosystem. The predictions for the future of the industry are impressive, and it's high time to use the advantages of the technologies, to bring services to the next level, strategies, and define to what extent they want to participate in the insure tech ecosystem. The predictions for the future of the industry are impressive, and it's high time to use the advantages of the technologies, to bring services to the next level.